Welcome inside Knicks and Six. The Knicks are making their playoff push. The All-Star break is coming up in a couple of weeks. This is a big time stretch for our Knickerbockers, so we're breaking down all the important things you need to know over the next couple weeks. I'm Rebecca Harlow alongside Phil Pito. Phil, we were talking about it. This is a big time stretch for the Knicks coming up. All right, so I know there's about 30 games to go, but it's never too early to look at the standings. And as we do this, the Knicks are seventh. They're about to play Miami for, for the first of four games against the Heat. And Rebecca, the Heat are sixth. The Knicks are two games behind the Heat as they begin this run here. Now, in case we need to let everybody know how this works, top six in the standings make the first round. This new play-in scenario, seven through 10, is full of landmines. So seven of eight, you've got to win one of two games. If you finish nine or 10, you've got to win two in a row. Suffice it to say, Rebecca, you want to finish in the top six. So that's why this is such a key stretch, beginning with the first of four against the Heat. It is, because the East is so incredibly deep. You have to land in that sixth spot or better. Head coach Tom Thibodeau was telling me the other day that he is so impressed by the shooting in this league this year. No lead is ever safe. No record is ever safe. So it is going to be an exciting next couple of weeks. And like we mentioned, there are eight games coming up before the All-Star break. And guess what? Seven of eight of those games are against playoff teams. So this is go time for the Knicks. You know, and I, I know we talk about this, but I think it's worth repeating. The Knicks are basically in every single game that they play. You look over the recent stretch, big win against Cleveland, maybe the biggest win of the year against the Celtics. They're competitive and hang in there against the Nets, and they have a heartbreaking loss to the Lakers. So you get four tough games. They go two and two. They very easily could have gone three and one. But the overall point to me is that every time this group suits up for Tom Thibodeau, you know they're going to be in the game unless it's an outlier. I, th I think there's only been a couple of three games all year, Rebecca, when the Knicks haven't really been in the game. So that's encouraging, and that's something to watch for. It keeps us on the edge of our seats and makes <laughs> it, in many ways, must-see TV. Absolutely, and one of the guys that keeps Knicks in the games all the time, no matter what, Jalen Brunson. And you know what I love about Jalen Brunson? There's a lot of things, right? Because he is such a gamer. But he is now leading the league in taking charges. How about that? And you mentioned the Lakers game. Homeboy takes a charge against Anthony Davis, who is so much bigger than him. Can you imagine how much that would hurt? I mean, just imagine standing under the basket staring at Anthony Davis, coming at you full speed, and just saying, okay, gonna sacrifice my body for the team. But Jalen tells me he's been doing that since high school. He doesn't even think about it. In the pain, eh, he says, whatever. <laughs> he's um, he's unbelievable. Uh, you know, 36 or whatever it was against the Lakers. Uh, you know, Randall's been putting up the numbers. We've got to mention Quentin Grimes. Uh, he's going to be in the Rising Stars Challenge game uh, All-Star Weekend for first and second year players. So that's a great accomplishment for him. You know, the Knicks have quickly has been really good. He's been getting minutes in crunch time, which has been significant. I just think that, uh, you know, as we sit here with about 30 games to go, that there's a real possibility for them to finish in the top six. And even if they don't finish in the top six, I think they hit the expectation that we all thought that they would at least make the plan. So I think when you look at the whole deal here, about 50 games in, I think they have met or maybe even exceeded expectations at this point. 100%. And I also want to get back to Quentin. You mentioned that he's heading off to Utah for that All-Star Rising Challenge game and it's such a huge accomplishment for him because think about it last year he was a rookie he didn't even play that much and now the league is recognizing him as one of the top sophomores in the game and I think it is amazing and when you watch him play he is just so confident he is so comfortable his defense is solid the three ball he's starting to hit those clutch shots when the Knicks really need them and, and overall he just feels like he has such a better understanding of the league this season and his matchups and defending and where he needs to get to on the floor to knock down those shots. And I think it's just awesome that he's going to Utah because that's just yet another confidence builder for his game as a starter for the Knicks now that these games really matter down the stretch. You know, when you look at the schedule here, you got two games in a three game span against the Sixers. It's Philly, Orlando, Philly. You mentioned the Heat game. Then you got a game against Brooklyn. There's a game in this eight-game stretch before the All-Star break against Atlanta. You know, 
we have talked about this stretch and and the reality is is if you say that the difficulty began against cleveland and you begin now at two and two i think that's pretty optimistic but you got it now over the next eight obviously i mean five and three even four and four would be i think pretty good rebecca you know when you look at the next eight games yeah and adding just one more layer into what this next team is dealing with right now bill is the fact that this is kind of that tough slug it out time of the year right before the all-star break where guys are tired grimes told me the other day that these are the days now where you're waking up tired you're going to sleep tired and yet they have a stretch of games where seven of eight are against playoff teams and those other teams are going through that same thing where they're tired they're dealing with the nagging injuries it's really mind over matter in the next couple of weeks and what you have to love about the knicks in this scenario is Tom Thibodeau is so good at having these guys mentally ready. Their routine is the same every single day. They do not deviate. There's so much mental toughness on this team. When you think about guys like Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle and RJ Barrett, Emmanuel Quickly, et cetera, et cetera, these guys are going to know exactly how to bring that toughness every single night. And it's going to be exciting over the next couple of weeks. We'll see where we are next time we chat, though. All right. Thank you, everybody. It's a huge stretch. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time here on Mix and Six.